Okay, so I got a call from another viewer, um, Judd Rose, you might remember him, and he lives nearby and he wants to check out an RV up here in Melbourne. So I'm going to meet up over there with him and help him out, take a look and see what he's looking at. He's been wanting to break loose and hit the road, pulling his motorcycle across country, and he's been working hard to make that happen. So we're going to get up here and take a look at this one and see if it is a contender. Okay, this is Jeb Rose. He's a really awesome guy. He's been doing a lot of homework here with his sights set on going full-time RVing. So he's been doing the homework, nose to the grindstone, looking for the vehicle that is going to be best for him, the floor plan that is best for him, and being very thorough about his research. Now Jed lives down in South Florida, so he drives up here to meet with these people to look at this RV. He gave me a heads up. And I said, sure, why not? Let me come on over. Four eyes are better than two. Hey, Judd. Hey, Joe, bro. Good to see you again, man. Good to oh, see yeah. you. That looks nice. I was looking at it online. How you doing? Now, this is Steve. He is not the owner of the RV or the owner of the lot that the RV is sitting on. He's just a salesman at this used car lot. The RV is sitting on an empty lot next to the actual car lot where all the cars are and it is on consignment. In other words, the owner is actually selling this for somebody else. Bye-bye. Oh, Bob, hey, it's Steve. Nice Bobby, to meet you. Steve. Yeah, typically if people come looking at these know more about them than I do, so. <laughs> I'm just not quite sure how to turn the fan up on this. Okay, so we got a nice little Jensen TV here. The countertops are laminate. Stainless steel double sink with a actual plastic backsplash going around. This is a 2013, so you know, for the time, the design and the decor was quite a bit ahead of its time. Get your satellite hookups inside. They have all the documents and the books and everything. Yeah, move, move the slide out. This is a full wall slide on driver's side. This one slide. Get some wiring here that goes up into that weather strip. Now, Judd is going to have a certified RV tech come out and inspect this RV, stem the stern, top to bottom, inside and out. But just as we are doing our cursory walkthrough, you know, I saw this wire hanging out as the slide was opening, possibly the the slide motor is and when I looked up there at it I could see the wire running up there and the other wires coming out of the main cable so as the slide opened it crimped those wires there's a possibility there that if you didn't correct that problem you could cut those wires in half and have to replace that harness but to me it was also an indicator hey somebody's been in there and they've worked on this for some reason and as the guy just clarified yes they replaced the slide motor in there where the connector is of some sort I think that goes to the motor that, oh, that actually pushes the slide. They must have replaced it once. Yeah. It's clean, doesn't look like it was smoked in or any large animals. I don't see any claw marks I'm trying to get outside. Table that goes right there. Those are nice to have. Yeah. Entertainment center with the antique CD player. <laughs> Cool looking multicolored disc that you can put in there and it plays stuff. USB, MP3. Light switches. Lots of storage. So this is a 2013. So when you're going through an RV, this is the type of attitude you should have. You should go in there armed with the knowledge of knowing what you are looking for what you are listening for, what you are feeling for, everything. No water spots? I'm not seeing any as of yet. It's got the, the better hinges. Nice to have these slide out doors. Yeah, yeah that's a Winnebago thing. You know, they, they put quality on that, it's good. Two pipe boards that go on the top, which is good. That's a nice feature. There's two boards. 
it's nice to have cutting boards instead of uh, the inserts that match the countertop and they're not cutting boards. <laughs> right, right, right. So this is on a Mercedes chassis with a diesel, I think a six cylinder turbo diesel yeah. is on this. So you have plenty of power. Driver cockpit is nice and roomy and you have about 10,000 miles on the unit, 10,470 miles. Windows have these shade inserts on them as well as having shades that, accordion style shades that pull across the windshield. So you'll have privacy completely all the way around the front. Got a ladder up there that you attach to these points here. You can climb up the ladder, gain access to your sleeping area. You got a reading light up there. No signs of leaks. Now this, this area here is a good place to look for signs of any water damage or water encroachment from the seams of the roof and that will come in there and permeate the insulation and eventually that will stain the finished material on the interior of the RV. This one looks pretty good. I mean I haven't seen any water, I haven't seen any evidence of any water intrusion anywhere and or any water damage or any repair. Of course, I think the, the roof up here is a mono hull type of shell. And you have a privacy curtain that you can yank across there. Small convection microwave. This is a prime pooping position, buddy. Right here, look at that. Nothing gets in the way. Close the door. That's prime. Is that a wet shower? Wet bath? Yeah, wet bath. Uh, porcelain toilet. All the books and everything in here. Use this. probably should. He actually talked to him yesterday. He's like, you know, I'm going to do anything. He's like, ah. You don't sell that thing the next week, I'm gonna keep it. Oh, it does have a separate shower. So I don't to keep a lot of like six thousand. Three hundred and like seven thousand miles on it, then the last one's over here on the check one trip, I think somewhere out west. I used to work for him. This has, you know, this comes out to a bed where it has like an automatic thing right. that blows up. Which yeah, I don't so know. I saw it work one time, but I I didn't really think Now this gentleman here, he is not the RV owner either. This gentleman is the owner of the actual car lot and he is the one that agreed to the RV owner to bring in the RV and sell it for him. So we really don't have anybody here to work with as far as negotiation or you know warming up to anybody that would be the actual owner. Um, just people representative of the owner and who takes the information that we have or the experience that we had while we're there and just relay it on to him and hopefully you know Judd will hear back from the owner with some good news. So far the interior of the RV looks really good. I mean considering it's a 2013 with very few miles on it, there's a two owner before the current owner and there doesn't seem to be any evidence of smoking inside the RV or any uh, animal hair or any evidence of animals um, being in the RV at any length of time in the past. All of the wood trim and the hinges and I didn't even see any chips in the in the finish anywhere. I mean the interior of this unit, as you can see the interior of this RV is in really really good shape. I mean I'm liking it. Yeah this actually has a um, it's, it's a blow-up mattress versus the ones that, that yeah. fold out on this particular yeah. model. Oh, it's not a jackknife? No, uh -uh, because the, the sofa is just slightly smaller than the regular, but it actually comes out to a full queen size bed. Yeah. And then uh, you've got the, the sleeping quarters up here. Well, which depending on which, my, uh, which one my back could put up with. Would depend. Yeah. Well, for me personally, I mean, the reason why, you know, this floor plan appeals to me is that there's more living space in the coach I'll do my sleeping up there. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. And, you know, so you've got enough living space, um, they don't you know, versus now, versus yeah. a bed that's in the, you know, yeah. in the yeah. corner that doesn't get used during the day. So. And there again, talk about doing your homework and thoroughly inspecting your potential buy here. Judd actually took his shoes off, grabbed his special therapeutic pillow, jumped up into the mom's attic and test fitted that area to make sure it was conducive and it was comfortable for him to sleep in and for him to be able to get up and down the ladder. 
You want to take, take a little uh, quick siesta up there while we wait? Well, I'm just going to get take my shoe off and <laughs> get the pillow just to kind of get the sense of the, you know. The fittery? Yeah. And, uh, where did, uh, where did this come from? and this pulls out? Oh, spring loaded? Yeah, this is also drops down. And that's storage under there? Sure. Yeah. I think that's going to fall out or something. Should be storage under it. There you go. Pull them. Yeah, that's for seat belts. There you go. Oh, your fresh water's right there. That's good. That's easy to get to. And then on the other side, this is where it should be. It's gray water. One's gray, one's fresh. I don't know which. Um, it might be gray since it's uh, or fresh since it's supposed to be the bathroom. Yeah, there's some other trick with this. It's nice, it's got a day and night shade yeah. on that. There you go. Cool off in here. Cool. Yeah, I was going to say, we got these shades. You know, he's got the generator running now, right? You, you do. Have turned it off. The overhead yeah. unit is on. Hey, can you swivel those around? You can. They do go around. They do. I've seen That's them. That's unusual. I've seen them. They had the driver passenger seat up there in a the cockpit driving area to be able to swivel around and actually use those seats. And if you attach the table down there on the floor, now you've got kind of a uh, little bistro area. Yeah, I think you're gonna need an ottoman there. <coughs> Of course, my neck would be done after the first Netflix series <laughs> season. <laughs> yeah. Or you could do this here. You could... Yeah, I'd probably watch from the driver's seat. Let's see here. Now, we didn't crawl under the RV. Like I said, Judd's going to have a certified inspector come out and go through all the nuts and bolts like that. But uh, looking at the exterior of the vehicle, even, even though the interior was immaculate, the engine bay was very clean, the exterior had notable wear from sitting outside, the weathering. With this model here, they used decals. So the decals have a tendency, because of the ultraviolet light, they will break down and begin to crack and fade over time. You can see that the awning here... Uh, at some point got ripped up in a storm or something, so the awning is going to have to be replaced. It's, it's still attached, but it's tattered. And finally, looking at the tires, you've got six of them on here, dualies in the back, and, and they were dated 2013, so the tires are going to have to be replaced. <laughs> Okay, so based on what you saw there, what are your thoughts? I mean, Judd knows very clearly what he's looking for in an RV, what kind of floor plan, how big he wants it. So taking into account, what are your thoughts on this particular RV? And further, I would like to say that Judd has given me permission to put it out there that if you have a unit similar to this that you think he would be interested in, be sure to drop me an email. My email is in the description of every video as well as in the About tab on my homepage of my YouTube channel. And uh, shoot me an email and say, hey, I got this, that, shoot me a couple pictures, and I'll flip them over to Judd and put you in contact with him if you have a unit that you're interested in selling that you think would meet Judd's standards and the things that he's looking for. I certainly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found something useful there. And I hope that you can come forward with uh, the perfect RV for Mr. Judd here so we can help out one of our fellow viewers and get him on the road expeditiously. Now be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram if you haven't, you've been missing out on all the shenanigans in between videos. Be sure to stay tuned and keep an eye out. I'm going to be reviewing some more products here pretty soon, some useful things and giving them away, putting them in your little hands so that you can put them to good use, things that you're going to want to have. Meanwhile, take care, be safe, be happy. I'm Bobby Jean and this could be your therapy.